So one question I get asked is, can a cleric solo at higher levels? Yes. Um, but in this case, I happen to be soloing a level 92 cleric. And I wanted to see how I can do um, just playing the cleric and having some fun, getting a little experience and uh, using the various tools that I have at level 92. I, um, I'm not going to say this is the fastest experience, but you're playing the game. I mean, I, if you can't get a group and you're a cleric, you can go out and you can get some experience. You can have some excitement. Uh, the first thing I use is the divine hammer of, uh, or consternation prox, uh, divine aura. I combine that with, I believe it's ward of recrimination, which prox is um, a repost proc, and it does damage. So even when you have Divine Aura up, you're doing damage. I then do um, Vow of Veneration. That's the one that lowers your ability to heal, but gives you this wonderful proc for a, um, a powerful heal over time. It, it, you can't use the Elixir because it's even more powerful. And um, so the, the, the theory is pull the mobs, let them beat up on you, damage themselves with your Ward of Recrimination and your Damage Shield, Circle of Igneous in this case, while you are healing up with your Divine Aura, if, if it works. You're hoping to proc the heal and then go into Divine Aura. Um, because you don't want to rely on the randomness of the divine hammer of consternation it will usually proc it procs quite often i have um two divine invulnerabilities memmed and if so i start going down in health and i don't have a divine aura proc i will hit one of those i also of course have um the two aas and i have one hotkey of course that targets myself so I can use the Bestow Divine Aura on myself. So I have four Divine Auras. You could have more. Um, three of the spells that I've memorized are frankly not particular. I don't use Promised Healing. The Hammer I mainly use for running down stragglers and strays. I also have a Snare Necklace. Um, that I do use, but I don't think it's necessary. You could mem a nuke in there. I just don't rely on nukes for this particular style. The two nukes that I do end up memming are um, the consternations. Divine consternation, the, the 90 and 85 is what I have available at this point. And those um, I use mainly as another source of heal. They do do some damage. But really what you're looking at is you want to heal while they kill themselves on the damage shield and the uh, repost proc that you get from Ward of Recrimination. You'll also do some nuking and uh, throw out a pet if you want or whatever you want to do. But this is mainly to um, kill runners. Once they stop beating up on you, all of your damage goes away. Um, I have done situations where I have the full X target window full of light blue mobs. The problem with that is if you make a mistake, you'll die. I mean, it's not something I do routinely, but you can look like a shadow knight for a while um, going in vault. If, if, if the, the randoms favor you, um, you can take out a hell of a lot of mobs at once. If the healing's coming down, everything's working right. And especially with a couple divine invulnerabilities memorized so you can help yourself if necessary. Um, all my heals, I use the social hotkey because I want to target myself, heal myself, and then go back to X target one and make sure my hammer is on because I want to proc 
divine and vulnerability as often as possible. This is not a unique. This is how I used to solo on uh, clerics in the um, sort of anguish years and stuff. And um, I'm sure it's, you know, what people are doing when they want to solo. But not everybody understands that a cleric can go out there. They can have fun. They can get some experience while they're looking for group. And generally, of course, at this level, I'm usually pairing my experience with um, one of the hot zone tasks. In this case, kill five shock troopers. I'm adjusting this. I haven't uh, obviously done this in a while, so I'm adjusting my setup as I go along to polish it. And uh, the final setup, I think, is what I've shown you. You'll see it uh, probably in the next video that's going to follow this where I'm killing dark blues. That's where I've kind of like polished my setup and um, I'm happy with what I'm doing now. Yeah, see, I've, I've looked at it. One thing I realized quickly is I had a lot more nukes memmed, and I was using nukes, and I began to realize that I go through my mana too fast at this point in my uh, AA growth development, and that this really, nuking is not helping me to kill the mobs. The mobs are dying on the damage shield. They're dying from the repose recriminations. Um, the only reason I would need more nukage would be to kill runners because you can get some really nice trains if you let a runner go. So what I came up with is memorizing my level 90 and level 85 consternation because that's healing you at the same time you're nuking. Plus, you can also use those to go after runners. Um, I have the hammer pet. Again, it's for runners. Is it the best option? I don't know. I also have the mark that does uh, five um, 1,000 damage hits. Um, you know, you mark them, and then it heals you up, but it also damages them. And so that's like a 5,000-point nuke, in effect. And so these are things you will cast if invulnerability fades and you're healed up, then you've got these extras to throw into the mix. You want to make sure you stay a good mana. And I have uh, two heal buttons. One is I use when I'm down just a little bit. And the other is when I'm down to half or below. Um, heal now, you know, which uses an AA heal and it uses the 14th. But I'm also always aware that if um, it's not going right, hit, a hit one of your uh, invulnerabilities and put yourself into invulnerability. Because, and if you get lucky, you'll have a uh, Vow of Veneration proccing. It's a heal over time when you hit that invulnerability. You, you're relying on your Hammer of Divine Consternation to proc, but you have backup. In this case, I have four backups. And it's very rare that all four of those will go down. You know, I'd have to have be really bad luck. Now, this is level 90 um, hot zone task, dark blue mob, so we're getting much closer to level. I am not as daring. Here, you're not going to do three at once. You'll do two at once. Obviously, if you want to handle as many mobs as you can handle because they're going to cut themselves to pieces and your um, experience rate will go up exponentially if you're killing three mobs at once or two mobs at once rather than one. But uh, dark blues, you know, again, can be a little tougher if you're not careful. You always want to watch, um, you know, do you have the vow up so you're getting heal over time? Do you have invulnerability proccing? You can always click that off if, if you need to cast something. And... Be aware that Ward of Recrimination, you're going to have to refresh that at least every four minutes, but probably a little more often depending on how fast it's clicking down with the mobs are uh, attacking you and it's going off. The faster it goes off, the more damage you'll have done. So this was my wife's tune, but she no longer plays and has not played so in 15 years. 16. 
About the time our kids started school, when Jack started kindergarten, and I was raiding pretty hard, she decided that it was time to end the EverQuest cycle. She had a monk, she used to pull an oasis. She had a paladin, and then she had this cleric. So she had a DPS, a tank, and healer, but the, the cleric is the one she got the farthest. And I think uh, this has not been uh, heroic. So it's just come up the old fashioned way. A little bit at a time. And uh, it's on Ferona Vi now. We transferred over there at one point. We were playing and we stopped. And so I just occasionally log on and have fun. So yeah, we're hunting boogeymen here for the uh, level 90 hot zone. We'll kill the second one, and then I'll end this video because uh, it'll get a little long if I was to try and kill all five at once. It's a very doable, workable way to solo as a cleric. Um, I'm sure if you play a cleric, you already know how to do something like this, but it is uh, a nice option when you're looking for a group. Um, in this case, I'm killing this boogeyman because I need to kill five of them, as I mentioned, for the hot zone task. I'm going to get an ad here, uh, one of those little nightmare-type horses. Um, so I'll, I'll kill both of them, and then I'll go hunt down another boogeyman. And at that point, I will end the video, um, as I don't think anybody wants to watch me play for uh, and throughout. Let's see. That's about it. I mean, you can watch the rest of the video if you want. Um, I think the technique is fairly clear. Talk to you guys later. Bye.